This video is an update to my previous video on setting up OpenSpeedTest through Docker on a Synology NAS. And thanks to viewer CyberWasp461 for suggesting that I update the tutorial. With the release of DSM 7.1 when creating containers through the Docker package, the options and settings are now in different locations as compared to the previous version of the Docker package, which was used when I created the original video. This video highlights those changes by walking through creating an open speed test container using the new Docker package. As mentioned in my previous video, open speed test works like other speed test websites you find on the internet, but the results are more personalized to your network being that you can self-host the open speed test server on your Synology NAS. Let's get started with the setup and as a prerequisite, I've already installed the Docker package from the Package Center, which I'll launch by going to the main menu, then select Docker. Once the Docker package starts up, I'll click on Registry, search for Open Speed Test, then download the image from the developer of Open Speed Test, selecting the latest tag. I'll then switch over to Image, where I'll wait for the Open Speed Test image to complete downloading. Once downloaded, I'll select the image, then click Launch. Now this Create Container window pops up, and this is where we can start seeing the changes from the previous version. Here, I'll leave the Bridge Network selected, then click Next. From this General Settings window, I'll rename the container and enable Auto Restart, then click Next once again. From this Port Settings window, I'll change the local ports to match the container ports for 3000 and 3001 and remove the 8080 port, which I find isn't needed in this setup, then click Next. From this Volume Settings window, nothing needs to be done, so I'll click Next once again. Then from this Summary window, I'll make sure to leave the box checked to run the container after the wizard is finished, then click Done. At this point, I'll switch over to the container listing to confirm that Open Speed Test is running, which it looks like it is. Now I'll confirm that the Open Speed Test container is working properly by bringing up a new browser tab and enter in the HTTP address of the Open Speed Test container using port 3000, and we can see that the web interface displays just fine. I'll also confirm that HTTPS is accessible using port 3001, and if I accept using the self-signed certificate assigned to the container, the Open Speed Test web interface displays properly as well. Now I'll start a test from my MacBook to the Open Speed Test container running on my Synology NAS over my current connection, which is through Wi-Fi, to see if the results are what I expect. For further details on how to use Open Speed Test to do local and remote speed tests, Check out my original video on Open Speed Test, which you see listed here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the Support This Channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.